Hi and welcome. My name is Dr. Andrea Ray and I am a reproductive endocrinologist at Shady Grove Fertility here in the Fredericksburg office. Um, I see a lot of patients with endometriosis and I thought I would share with you some of the most common questions that I get from those patients today. One of the first questions I always get from patients is, how do I know if I have endometriosis? To truly know whether you have endometriosis, you actually have to have surgery. In other words, a gynecologist has to look inside the pelvis and take a biopsy and confirm it under a microscope. But naturally, you probably don't want to have surgery and we don't want to operate on everybody. So we have to rely on some other clues. Those other clues in include your symptoms. Uh, most patients with endometriosis will have very painful periods. Sometimes those painful periods can be associated with even back pain or rectal pain. Um, and sometimes these patients will have pain with intercourse as well. Some patients may not have any pain at all and may just present with infertility. So we use a pelvic ultrasound as another very helpful tool to give us an idea of whether a patient may have endometriosis. On ultrasound, we can look at the ovaries and we can see if there are these cysts of endometriosis, which we call endometriomas. So let's say that you, we think you have endometriosis or you've been diagnosed with endometriosis. What are we, uh, what are we going to do about it at this point? Well, for most patients, if you have endometriosis and you're having pain with it, um, and you're not trying to conceive, there are a number of hormonal medications that you can take to help eliminate that pain or alleviate that pain. The problem is, is that a lot of times these medications will prevent you from getting pregnant. So if you have endometriosis and you are trying to get pregnant, um, then we would look at a number of different um, options as well. Um, just because you have endometriosis, does not mean that you have infertility. And we don't want you to panic. But that being said, we know that having endometriosis has a higher risk of developing infertility, and it can get worse with time. So it's important to have a plan going into it. So when should you see a fertility specialist? In general, we would say if it's been at least a year and you've been trying without success that you should have a full fertility evaluation. If you're over the age of 35, then you should seek a testing after only six months. Now for patients with endometriosis, particularly if you know that you have advanced endometriosis or what we would call stage three or stage four endometriosis, we would recommend having that evaluation done sooner um, or is certainly if it's been at least six months or more. So what are some of the things that your fertility doctor will do about your endometriosis? First and foremost, your doctor will devise a personalized treatment plan for you, taking into account your age, how uh, severe your endometriosis may be, and how long you've been trying to conceive. The next question is whether or not to have surgery or whether or not to have more surgery. And this is something that our opinions have changed over time. We are now less eager to continue to operate on patients that already have endometriosis because more recent studies suggest this may affect a woman's ovarian reserve and may not necessarily lead to better treatment outcomes. Typically, your doctor will talk to you about fertility treatments, and these really are the best way to improve your chances of conceiving in a given month. Now, this can range from super ovulation with IUI, with either oral or injectable medications, such as Clomid. However, the highest chance of pregnancy is always gonna come with IVF, which is in vitro fertilization. It's important to keep in mind that, as we've said, endometriosis can take many forms, and the success rates of each of these treatments can really vary based on the patient and a number of other factors. So that's something that you and your doctor will sit down and devise an individualized treatment plan to figure out what's going to give you the best chance of success. Endometriosis as a whole, too, is a topic that I could probably talk about for a whole week if, if I had the time. But so hopefully today served as a helpful, simple summary for you. 
Um, my name is Dr. Andrea Ray, and on behalf of Shady Grove Fertility, thank you for tuning in today to watch our video. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to look at our website at www.shadygrovefertility.com. Thank you.